All right, today what we're doing is we're teaching you how to clean a bathroom like a pro. So we've been cleaning bathrooms for a long time. And when you clean a restroom, everybody knows how to clean a restroom, right? I'm gonna teach you how to clean that restroom like you're a pro. So what do we do first? Well, first thing we always do is we check soap, paper towels, toilet paper, seat covers. So consumables for you guys out there. So how do we do that? Well, I use no gloves, clean hands. Clean hands are cleaner than dirty gloves. So let's get to that. First. Oh, like this, the dispenser is empty. We'll need to put some paper towels there and we'll do our refills. Most everybody, when they're new, forgets the seat covers. Because you don't have seat covers at your house. So always remember, you got seat covers in the building. So what do we do next? Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all my trash. So trash is like this. In restrooms, we always change out the bag. We're never reaching in and pulling trash out because there may be a needle in there, broken glass, things like that. So in this step, I put my gloves on. These are single use nitrile gloves. Very simple, cheap to get everywhere you go. So being I'm gonna to touch trash this time, I'm gonna have my gloves on just in case there's blood or something like that that I don't wanna get on my hands, right? So going around, I'll remove my trash. After I remove my trash, if I was in a ladies restroom, I, at this point I would also remove my um, sanitary napkin dispensers, replace those bags in the sanitary napkin dispensers. So then we're gonna come around and our next stop is to dust. Now, I like to do two steps at once here. So I'll have my disinfectant. This is a acid-based restroom disinfectant that we use to disinfect the outside and sometimes the inside of like a urinal, like we're using these waterless urinals here. So this is something we would do. Now this step's gonna save me a little bit of time. I could make another trip around, but watch what I do here. I'm gonna be grabbing this and this acid bowl cleaner. So this step is to dust. So disinfectant takes time, to, they call dwell time, to kill whatever's on the surface. I want to leave it on the surface as long as possible because I want it to be clean for me. Yes, it's great for the customer, but by the time I get to it, I would love for it to be clean. And this is my phosphoric acid that we talk about a lot. That takes time to get the lime scale, maybe the ring out of your toilet. So while I'm dusting again, this is all gonna be doing its job. Same thing here. This is a waterless urinal. So disinfectant throughout. Now I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna sweep the floor. All right, now that the floor is swept, my disinfectant's dwelling on the toilets and urinals, the acid's in the toilet. I'm gonna clean a sink. This is the phosphoric acid that I put in the toilet or in a urinal. Now, with this sink, I'm doing this at least once a week. If you have a building with a lot of people, you're gonna do it much more times, probably two to three times a week. But it's very simple. Remember, phosphoric doesn't burn chrome. Hydrochloric does burn chrome. This is phosphoric. Put some in there. Make sure you're getting your drain spout. This removes all that lime scale. And this, you don't have to let it sit. You can clean this and you always wanna dry it. So clean it, rinse it, dry it. This guy will go into my clean side of my toe. And then I'm gonna move on to my physical cleaning. So I've got two things here. I've got a countertop and I've got a mirror. For a mirror, we're gonna use 543. Just a simple glass cleaner. So I'm gonna clean the entire mirror. So that's clean. So this is the 315. This is the same disinfectant. It has a slight bit of acid in it that I use on the outside of my urinal on the outside of my toilet. I'm gonna to use this on my countertop. 
So again, green towel. You notice I'll always clean the tops of things. So a couple tips for newer people. We're always shining our fountains and I'm always what I call setting the faucet handle. I'll come into restrooms like this. We want it straight and we want to see what it looks like to be the customer when they walk in in the morning. That's how we're doing all of our restrooms, all of our sinks. So now we're going to move on to cleaning the toilets and the urinals. So while I've been doing all of this, that disinfectant has been dwelling and my acid has been dwelling. Let's go take a look. So for this step, you'll notice I'm always using a yellow towel. That tells me consciously that this towel goes on the toilet. This towel can go in that urinal. And then after this is done, I can be placing this in a bag for it to be cleaned. So let's get started. First things first, you've got your toilet brush. Now, a little tip if you want to look at professional is, let's say you have a ring in your toilet. You probably have a ring in your toilet because the water sits in the same spot every time. By forcing this water through the drain pipe, it gets your water level lower. Then you can actually let that chemical sit here. If you're dealing with a ring in the toilet, you can go ahead and let that sit there all night and then it, someone will flush it in the morning. In this instance, we don't have a ring, so I'll flush it. Now I've got my yellow towel. There's a trip, a tip that we use. There's a tip that we use. We always clean cleanest to dirtiest. So in this toilet, the cleanest is gonna be the top, then the handles, and we're working our way downwards, right? We always put the toilet seat down. Bases, both sides. And now we move on to our urinal. This is a waterless urinal. Kind of a different type of cleaning method. I don't need to scrub it because there's nowhere for the water to go. I don't want to pour water down it because then it starts to smell. So really what I do is disinfect it and wipe it down. So let's get to that. Refold my towel. Then this goes to our soiled. So that's a quick synopsis on how we clean. There are two more steps that we're gonna do here. We're gonna polish our stainless steel. And we're gonna mop the floor. So in a synopsis, we do all of our cleaning in a sequence, and that sequence is built in. We're doing certain things first, certain things second, certain things third. That enables us to watch the people that we've trained and see how effective our training is. So in this, you noticed most complaints come from missing soap, toilet paper, paper towels. That's the first thing I'm doing when I'm walking in. That's alleviating that complaint. Then we're looking at dusting, putting disinfectants in, so on and so forth, that every time it just becomes a routine. That's how professionals make money in this industry. And you wanted to learn how to clean a bathroom like a pro? That's how you clean a bathroom like a pro. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and leave that comment, like, subscribe, do what you guys do. If you wanna see different content, go ahead and add that in the comment section.